Pulte Homes at Ascension. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about Pulte Homes at Ascension. It's finally open. But before we get started, I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Angela's sidekick, Damian Barton. And if you are thinking about buying in this community, you know who to call, right? Ghostbusters? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Angela O'Hare at... 702-370-5112. And make sure you show us love and hit that thumbs up button. And most importantly, subscribe. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Pulte Homes at Ascension in the Peaks Village is a brand new community in the prestigious Summerlin Master Plan community, actually located in Summerlin South. This community is finally open to the public. We are so excited. They finally opened all of their models. Yeah. Unlike some other builder down there. <laughs> we won't mention names mm. about that other builder. <laughs> because they so haven't secrets. even opened their model homes yet. So we're gonna praise Pulte for doing such a great job because they are one of the best builders I've ever worked with when it comes to communication oh, yes. and transparency. And they built a pretty good home too. I agree. Yes. Um, so we're gonna highlight everything that's going on at Ascension with Pulte Homes. So once this community is Fully developed, there will be a total of 286 lots with three unique neighborhoods. They have Incline at Ascension, mm -hmm. yes. Caprock at Ascension, and now the Point at Ascension. And this community features 11 luxury one and two-story home designs that range in size from 2,297 to 4,500 plus square feet. All three communities will be guard gated and there will be a desirable planned clubhouse within the community. Yes, so the whole entire Ascension, even the Toll Brothers and the Pulte Homes are under one big gated community, okay? Guard gated community. And they will have a clubhouse that will take shape in 2026. Now, if you wanna learn more about the Peaks Village, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com Click under the top tab where it says Summerlin Villages, click the peaks, and then there you'll have everything you need to know about Pulte and, of course, Toll Brothers. Yes. Yes. So I have done a video tour of all the model homes. You can always check out my YouTube channel to see what all these model homes look like, right? Yeah. And the first community that opened is Incline, and this is an all-single-story community, and they have four different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size between 2297 square feet to 2875 square feet, with three to four bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms, and three car garages. The prices are starting in the low millions. Now the most important thing is when you buy in a new construction community, it's always important to buy in the beginning of the phases because with every lot release, they do increase the price. Because technically, the first model, the smallest model, opened and started in the high 900s and now that's in the low 100s so with each low one millions i mean millions yes with each lot release they increase the price now pulte just like toll brothers did a lot of pre-sales prior to opening the community so they sold a lot in this community already and they are only releasing a handful of lots on a monthly basis now and each lot, only in this community that I'm aware of, has like a bid system on the lot premium. So if you like lot 34 and someone else is interested in lot 34, then it would go to a bid and you would have to bid on the lot price. So if the lot premium is $150, you're going to have to do a, a bid on it to see if you can win the lot. Mm -hmm. Because so many people are interested in it, they don't have enough homes to sell. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So the first floor plan that they have here is the garden gate, and this is the smallest one. And it's three, you could probably, I think three to four bedrooms, two baths and a three car garage. I like the garden gate. We have a lot of clients that like this floor plan as well because of the bar. The bar in the corner. Yeah, yeah like exactly. That. 
And the next floor plan they have in this community is the Park Lane. And the Park Lane is probably one of Pulte's most popular floor plan. And this has 2466 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a three car garage. Then you have Genoa, mm -hmm. which is 2656 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a three car garage. And lastly, you have Cecina, which is 2875 square feet with four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and a three car garage. Now this one could also have a guest suite. Now, when you look in the interactive floor plan map on Pulte, it's a website for Incline and Ascension or any of these Pulte homes, you, if you like a floor plan, you click on their interactive map and that interactive map will tell you the different structural options of how you can change the floor plan mm -hmm. to make it more uniquely yours. Now they also have different in all three communities, different elevations. You have an A elevation, which is your standard. The B elevation is more square and the C elevation is the asymmetrical roof lines that will have the higher ceilings. Yes, gives you more depth. Sorry, I overran this little video. Uh, no, it's good. Good giving all the information. Yeah. Let's look at Caprock by Pulte Homes. This community will offer 88 home sites with three unique two-story home designs ranging in size from 3,981 to 4,530 square feet with five bedrooms, four and a half to five and a half bathrooms, and three to four car garages, starting in the mid one millions. Yeah, and those houses are Big. massive and mm -hmm. they're beautiful. Um, and a lot of them, you know, the nice thing about these builders uh, or nice thing about Pulte is that they don't change the names of their floor plans. You know, if it's a popular floor plan, they're going to keep it and you can find it other locations in the valley. Lennar does that as well. Um, Toll Brothers, not so much. Lennar does it. So there's only a couple builders that are consistent like that. And I like that because TriPoint, you have to guess, was this plan this, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so Connect the dots. Yeah, you have to connect the dots. So that's one of the other reasons why I like Pulte so much. <laughs> First is the Pissarro, approximately 3,981 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and three car garage. Next, La Serra, approximately 4,242 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and a three-car garage. And lastly, the Vittoria, approximately 4,530 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half baths, and a four-car garage. Yeah, it's I don't know boy. which one's my favorite. I know you like the Vittoria. I do. I think I like, was it the Passara or the Lucera that I liked better? Um, they're both, all, all three of them are very well appointed. The Passaro and Vittoria were both found in Carmel Cliff. Um, just FYI, if you ever heard of those names, that's where they were located. Um, but I don't think you can go wrong with any of those floor plans. And just as I mentioned before, when you go on their website, hit interactive plan, you can see what kind of alternative structural options you can change with mm -hmm. the floor plans. And th they have a lot of move-in ready homes in this community. So if you're interested, holla. Oh yeah, move-in ready. Let her, let her strong arm them for you. <laughs> And the last community in Ascension by Pulte is The Point, and they just actually recently opened up, and this is probably my favorite out of all of yeah, them, it's, it's um, nice. because of the how large they are. This is an all-single-story community, and they're going to have 79 home sites with four different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size between 3,475 square feet to 4,006 square feet, with three to five bedrooms, three and a half to four and a half bathrooms, and two to four car garages starting in the mid millions. And let me tell you, I just, um, yeah. Awesome. Epic. Epic. Yes. <laughs> These are nice. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the first floor plan they have in this community is the Royalty at 3475 square feet with three beds, three and a half baths, and a three car garage. This one also has the option of including a casita, making it four bedrooms, and also concluding a like next gen suite, a guest suite as out of the third bedroom, you can enlarge it. So I like that they have these little different options that you can do with yeah. it and make it your floor plans personally. This is my favorite floor plan out of all of them, mm -hmm. um, just because of the layout and I love that casita. Um, then you have the dignitary 
This one is the only one that's not modeled in the community, and this is 3904 square feet with four to five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and three car garage. This is the only floor plan that can have actually five bedrooms and five baths. And I like that, I hate that it's not modeled, but the sales rep did say that once they get one near completion, they will let me do a video of it so we can showcase the floor plan. Oh, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the layout. I mean, the, from the map, it kind of reminds me of a mini version of the King's Gate. Oh, that's my favorite one. So we're going to go into the King's Gate, which is 3966 square feet with four beds, three and a half baths, and three to four car garage. And lastly is the Luminary. Mm -hmm. And this one's 4,006 square feet with four beds, three and a half baths, and a three to four car garage. Now, again, if you wanna see what all these floor plans look like, except for the Dignitary, you can go to my YouTube channel, or you can also go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com, click on the Peaks Village. I have all the videos on my website as well. Right? That's right, yes. And it's a great way to contact Angela as well. Yeah, now we're gonna go over the monthly HOA. This is something that's unheard of before we talk about it is, there are no SIDS wait, in wait. this community. Wait, what? No SIDS. No SIDS. No SIDS. This is the first <laughs> I've ever seen a Summerlin Village open up without SIDS. And if anyone doesn't know what SIDS are, I'm going to tell you briefly. SIDS is called Special Improvement District. And basically what happens is the city builds the infrastructure of the community, the streets, the lights, the plumbing, etc. Tax that onto the builder, and then the builder tax that onto the new buyer. So this is very fortunate that both builders in Ascension, the Peaks, don't have SIDS. Yeah, that's nice of them. Yeah. So the monthly HOA is going to be a total of three hundred and twenty dollars a month. There's Summerlin South HOA of sixty-five dollars, and then the Ascension HOA is two fifty-five. Now this is tentative. Things could change, right? Once mm -hmm. the community starts opening up and the amenities take place those prices may go up. Yeah, so expect that. Yeah. And lastly, let's talk about the community amenities. Yeah, this is the good part. Yes. Nestled in the sought after Summerlin South neighborhood in Las Vegas, residents can take advantage of both the master planned abundant recreation at Ascension own exclusive community amenity center with pools, pickleball courts, a fitness center, and more. And we're not gonna go into detail the specifics because everything is tentative, but believe you me, it's gonna be probably one of the best community centers or clubhouse that Summerlin's gonna have. They are gonna have pickleball courts, which everyone loves, and it's not gonna be built until 2026 Ooh. though. Now to me, and I've said this in several of my other videos, Ascension is the baby of Mesa Ridge and Reverence. You have Mesa Ridge Toll Brothers and Reverence Pulte that came together and had a baby called Ascension. And from what I understand, this clubhouse is going to top Reverence Clubhouse, which is phenomenal. And, you know, the Mesa Ridge Clubhouse is just mediocre, right? So this is going to be a very nice uh, addition to the community. Yeah, and that view it's going to have too. It's yeah, it's a little high up there. elevated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right between High Rock and the Point. In conclusion, overall, Ascension in Summerlin offers a blend of luxury, modern living, and convenient access to some of Las Vegas' best attractions. It is going to be one of those top communities that you wish you would have bought in in the beginning. <laughs> Just like Mesa Ridge, mm -hmm. people when they bought in, very, very, like eight, nine hundred thousand. Kicking themselves. They're selling for two, three million dollars. This is going to be that community. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before you tour the model homes, make an appointment with me. If you want me to represent you, I need to be with you there on your very first visit. And you can call me at... Call Angela at 702-370-5112. Most importantly, folks, again, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.